Welcome to New Blue FX Tips and Techniques. I'm Ian Stark for New Blue. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at one of the most exciting plugins in the Video Essentials 4 collection, Skin Touch-Up. Video Essentials 4 continues along the same lines as its predecessors with a collection of eminently usable and useful tools, each designed to do a specific job quickly and easily. Sure, some of those jobs can be carried out using your NLE's native colour correction tools, blurs and other effects, but the Video Essentials collections are task-focused, letting you get on with being creative and productive rather than spending too long solving problems. Video Essentials 4 contains 10 plugins, and we'll look at those in more detail in other tips and techniques tutorials, but for now we're going to focus on skin touch-up. It's a simple fact of life. We're all getting older, and as we do, our skin tone starts to get a bit rocky. What was once a smooth, silky canvas eventually becomes a rough, craggy doormat. Whether we like it or not, it's going to happen. But, thanks to the good folk at New Blue, we can now stop forking out thousands a year for skin creams and anti-aging potions, and we can turn to the wonderful Skin Touch-Up plugin instead. Skin Touch-Up is really so quick and so simple to use, and your subjects really will thank you. Let's take a look at this clip of a young lady who very generously has removed all her makeup for the purposes of this tutorial. You'll notice a few blemishes here and there, and it's our job to try and smooth things out a little, without losing any detail elsewhere in the shot, such as in her hair. The controls are really simple. We can select a colour to work on, we can choose how sensitive the colour selection is, and then we can dial in how much smoothing we want to apply to our selection. Let's step through that process. Firstly, I'll select the colour I want to affect. I can select from a palette, but it's more likely you'll want to use the eyedropper and choose an area of skin that needs attention. If I increase sensitivity, the colour selection will grow to include similar colours to the one that I selected. I can illustrate that by clicking the Show Mask checkbox to reveal the areas of the image that I've selected. If I take it up to 100, that'll be everything in the frame, i.e. every colour. And at zero, we're selecting absolutely nothing at all. Other than being able to see which parts of the image are being affected, the plugin hasn't made any difference at all yet, but we can change that by using the smooth control. As I increase the value, the selected colours dissolve away, leaving a much clearer looking skin tone. I can go back now and tweak the values until I have a good balance between natural and realistic. If you go too far, you end up with an almost painted look, which might of course be exactly what you're looking for. Let's look at a second example. This time, we'll aim to reduce wrinkles in the skin for a more flattering appearance. This lovely lady clearly smiles too much, and the result is that one or two laugh lines have started to appear. Let's see what we can do to lose them. We'll start by selecting a darker area of the skin. We'll take sensitivity up to around 40, and as I increase the smoothing, those wrinkles start to fade away. Through experimenting with this plugin, I've learnt that good starting values that reduce skin blemishes while still retaining a good amount of detail are around 40 for sensitivity and around 75 for smoothing. For most situations, my advice would be to start with those settings, choose your colour and then tweak until you're happy. So there it is, Skin Touch-Up from the Video Essentials 4 collection. It's quick, it's easy and it does what it says on the tin. Or perhaps this is one plugin that should come in a bottle. To learn more about New Blue FX or to see more tips and techniques tutorials, click to www.newbluefx.com. This is Ian Stark saying thanks for watching and for learning a little bit about New Blue FX. Competitively priced, aesthetically fresh, and ridiculously easy to use.